Hello, Captain Ethan Whitehall, Company D, 2nd United States Sharpshooters. Today's video is one that's very been long coming. We've had quite a few comments uh, about this exact subject, uh, some from our members in our unit, but also uh, reenactors abroad. And that is the different styles of officer rank. Uh, the most common style you're going to see is the shoulder boards. Uh, every officer pretty much has these on their shoulders uh, somewhere or another. Some are sewn, some are pinned. Uh, there are some that actually put leather laces and punch it through their uniform and tie it that way. Uh, so this is going to be the most common, as I said, you're going to see, is shoulder boards from second lieutenant all the way up to lieutenant colonel and some even uh, people who want to reenact as a general will have their shoulder boards on. However, that's not the only way uh, officers in the Civil War showed off their rank. And there was also, as the war went on and uh, Confederate sharpshooters and Union sharpshooters became more prevalent, is what's called subdued rank. And what that is, which is on my private purchase blouse, is just two sets of simple bars on the collar. Uh, some officers wore it on the breast, some had it just like the shoulder boards, however, it was just the bars and two sets on their shoulder and with this it's very hard to distinguish at a long distance compared to the boards because the boards have all that gold trim and fancy uh, braiding and all that around it because there are some that are about that thick of just the braid before you even get to the rank and they stand out like a sore thumb at very long distance especially if the sun's hitting it. Um, there's also another way that the officers during the Civil War would have done that and that would have been on their overcoats. Uh, there was a very formal uh, coat called the cloak coat, which was, was issued, well not issued, but bought by officers. And it's one of these. It's dark blue with frog loops and French loops and braid to distinguish officer rank. And as the braids went up, it was the higher the rank. So two braids was a captain, uh, three was a major, four was a colonel, and then up until like five or six for generals, everything like that. However, in 1862, it was passed for officers to actually use enlisted coats. A lot of them used the mounted services coat because it was a longer cape, it was double-breasted. It looked a little more uh, officer-like. However, there's no way to distinguish rank on that coat because there's no trim or anything like that or braid. So what they did was they used circlets, which are these little guys. It's just like a shoulder board, it has a border around it with the bars denoting rank or the oak leaves or the eagles or stars. And these were small enough. Um, there's plenty of accounts of officers wearing these on their breast as well. Uh, there's a sharpshooter officer that actually wore one of these on his coat right here on the breast and didn't have anything. Um, these also could have been worn on the collar. These came in all sorts of sizes. There were some that were about the size of a nickel and they'd just be worn on the collar of the coat. Uh, but most of them were worn on the overcoats and they were worn typically on the collar to denote their rank and to also kind of hide it. And the plus side too is if they were in an area that they were or in combat or on patrol, it was pretty easy to uh, even hide the rank further. You just pop the collar up. So you, you look like Dracula or you know a 50s greaser or something like that, but it hides your rank again. Uh, uh, the other thing too that officers did, and this was very common in the sharpshooters, not only with the officer corps, but the NCO corps, they didn't wear rank at all. Uh, in fact, it's in the regulations that a second lieutenant doesn't actually need to wear shoulder boards or anything because it's obvious to tell he's a second lieutenant just because he has a sword and a sash. Uh, however, especially in reenacting, it's always good to have some sort of visible rank showing just so you or the go-to person for your company or the staff uh, if they need someone to take charge of a group of wounded or a certain detail, everything like that. So thank you for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you.